as of making this video, it's like 10 days away from Christmas. And if you're like me and buy gifts like a day before you're supposed to give them out, then here's some of my last minute gift ideas. You know, actually, I was thinking of calling this video like seven gifts I wish I received for Christmas instead of absolutely nothing at all. And then I realized that's like a little sad for a Christmas video, but anyway. The first gift idea on my list are extension tubes. Now, if you're not sure what these do, you mount them between your camera and your lens and they allow you to focus on your subject much closer than you usually would be able to. So in a sense, it converts your normal lens into kind of like a macro lens. It basically increases the magnification ratio. Now, you do have to get the right one for your camera because it is mount specific. So these can actually go for $10 all the way up to $130 depending on which type you get. So this here is a $10 version with no electronic contact whatsoever so you won't be able to read the data from your lens or adjust the aperture electronically on your lens. If you want to do so you have to get a more expensive one that has electronic contacts which will allow you to control the f-stop electronically on the camera. So extension tubes would be a nice gift for that someone who's interested to get into macro photography but doesn't exactly own a macro lens yet. This is a nice low-cost way that gives you pretty decent results. Although not to say you cannot use this with an actual macro lens because the last time I did it was Quite a lot of fun. Number two on my list would be the Domka Protective Wrap. These go for roughly $15 a piece and it's basically padding in the form of a sheet with Velcro on each of the corners. They are quite useful in the sense that you can wrap any sensitive electronics up in them like your camera or your lens and just pretty much dump them in any ordinary bag. You can even think of it as a tool to convert a normal bag into a camera bag. Number three would be the Instamics. Now they may be one of the smallest items on this list but they are not exactly the cheapest. The Instamics actually began as an Indiegogo startup project and the base version now retails for $149 and the Pro version now retails for $189. And no, you cannot pick the colors they come in. Think of them as the GoPro of microphones. They're able to record high quality audio on their own without having to pair to a smartphone, although that is an option. The base version is splash resistant and records only in mono. The Pro version can record in stereo or mid-side or mono, and you can actually submerge the Pro one underwater. Coming up next, another small but expensive gift. This is the Lumu Power. This is an accessory for iPhones, so when you attach it to your iPhone, it converts it into a color or a light meter. Now the Lumu Power is pretty pricey at $249. They also just announced a new Lumu Power version 2 with the Pro model capping in at $499. So it's not cheap, especially the version 2. Now what the version 2 can do that the version 1 cannot is measure the color temperature of flashes. So if that's not a required feature, the version 1 would be just fine. It also only works with iOS devices that have a lightning connector. So if you do actually buy this as a gift for someone, make sure they have an iPhone or an iPad. Number 5 is one of my all-time favorites, the Aperture ALM9. It's like the most convenient and portable LED. It's fairly bright, it has a really high CRI rating, and it has a built-in lithium-ion battery that you can recharge through micro USB. It's also only 45 now, if you like to gift something that's similar to this but you're feeling a bit more generous, you can get the upgrade of this, which is number 6 on my list, the Aperture MX. Now, the MX is more expensive, coming in at $149, but it's also brighter than the M9, and it's also bi-color, which means you can change color temperatures, which the M9 cannot do. And finally, number 7 on my list, it is a Zeiss product, but surprisingly, it doesn't cost a bomb because they're lens wipes. A box of 60 costs less than $6, so it's not exactly the fanciest of gifts, but it's the thought that counts, right? You can also get a pack of 200 for $19.25. So it's one of the more frugal but practical gifts, maybe for that someone who you don't really want to spend a lot of money on, but you still have to give them a gift. But that doesn't make it a bad gift, because you simply can't have enough of these. In fact, I actually find these so useful, I keep a pack in my room, a pack in my bag, and a pack in my car. So those were my seven gift ideas for the photo slash video geek. I'll be posting purchase links to all the items we've talked about in the description below. And by purchasing from those links, you are actually supporting this channel. And then maybe I can finally buy myself something for Christmas. But anyway, do feel free to share with me what your gift ideas are in the comment section below because my friends are getting a little tired of me sending them a box of lens wipes every Christmas. But that's it for today. And if you enjoyed today's video, do consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.